All right, guys and gals, good morning and welcome to this video. We're going to trade with some villagers here in a little bit. All right, let's go see what we can do. Let's go see what we can do with our trading. Now, I have another video showing this uh, sugarcane farm that I built. Um, so please check that out. This produces way more sugarcane than we can probably ever use. Oh, we got villagers. Okay. All right, what are you, buddy? Huh? You're a cleric. Uh, okay, yeah. You would you like to buy some zombie meat? Uh, yeah, I thought you would. Does that make you happy? Yes, it does. Oh. Huh? Yeah, I need to sell you some more because now I don't have room. Uh, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Let's see, what else? Gold? No, I'm not going to trade you gold. You got bad prices on redstone and on lapis. We may have to trade you some later anyway, but not right now. Hey, leather worker. No, I didn't bring anything for you. Yes, I see the one I want right here. The librarian. You're expensive, but we'll trade you some paper anyway. Because we need some... Uh, Oh, yeah. Huh? Now you'll sell us what? Fire Aspect 2. Oh, an emerald, a compass. Ah, oh, here's what we want. Because this will unlock, whoops, this will unlock more trades. Yes, now, now we should see another book clocks. Oh, we got to buy some glass from you. See, this is why you need lots of things, because you have to go through a lot of different uh, steps to unlock their trades. Now, Thorns 3. No, that's not a book that I want. Uh, we may have to buy a compass. That's a really expensive, and I can't afford it yet. But we need to unlock his last book. Farmer! Yes, farmer. All right. Let's sell some wheat. Oh, yeah. We're going to sell you a lot here if we can. Oh, come on. What'd you do? He gave me the slip, didn't you? All right. Let's sell you some potatoes. No more potatoes. All right. Let's try some carrots. No more carrots, eh? Come on, there we go. That's we want to see that sparkle. No more sparkles? All right, let's try some more. Oops. Let's try some more potatoes. No, 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 don't run away. Come on, little fuzzy guy. Alright. Um, things I don't have. We'll buy a cake. We'll buy one cake from you, because I think that'll unlock some stuff. Yep. Oh, you sneaky guy. It's getting dark, isn't it? Okay, we got to get out of here till morning. All right, let's see. Where are we going to put this bed? I think we'll put it right here where the crafting table is. There we go. Now we don't have to rush out of here in such a hurry. Hey, librarian. We're back. We want to unlock your last trade. And as much as I hate it, Maybe I want to buy a clock. No, we'll buy a compass. 
Wow, so expensive. Well, it may not be your last trade, but your last book. And what is it going to be? Oh, Looting 3. It's a good one. It's not cheap. 41 emeralds. And I have some Looting 3, but that's still that's still worthwhile. Oops. I've forgotten coal, haven't I, buddy? Yes, Toolsmith. Okay. Really only interested in your diamond stuff. Unbreaking 2 for 13 emeralds. Well... We'll take it just to see. Uh, that was your last trade. Ah, oh, what a waste. Okay, I got a trade. Yeah, fisherman. Let's see if we can trade you some string. Yeah, okay. Now what we got? Huh? Now for coal I can get emeralds. I can get a fishing rod. Okay, well now we're we're losing our string. If we we gotta remember to come back and get that string. Shepherd. Okay, let's trade you some more. I gotta get rid of I gotta clear out my inventory a little bit. Where did our um, our librarian go? There we go. Whoops. And I missed. Yeah, we got to trade you some more paper. Yes. Hey! What are you doing up there? Do you know you can fall and hurt yourself? Okay, cleric. Oh, see, now we can buy glowstone. Oh, and we can buy, this is nice, we can buy ender pearls. Okay, let's get, um,. Let's get one ender pearl. Don't run away. I believe that's his final trade is the bottle of, uh, bottle of oh, enchanting. Bottle of enchanting. Oh, I bet that was our farmer there, wasn't it? Running like mad. Yep. So you can see that farm, farmers give the most, really. Um, but you have to, you have to buy something from them every once in a while, whether you want it or not. Yeah, if they sparkle, you can usually trade some more. Okay, that's it on that trade. Okay, I think we're done with him. Ah, there we go. We need we need some watermelon and we need some pumpkins. We may have some. It looks like we don't have a uh a butcher. I haven't seen a butcher yet. Huh? 
Anything else, Mr. Farmer? No. Let's see if we can find some pumpkins or something. I think you're our same. I think you're the only librarian we have. Oh, you're a different librarian. Oh, how wonderful. I didn't know we had to. You were you were being sneaky, weren't you? There we go. Glass, three glass. Oh, you're 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 way more expensive on your glass than the other guy. Come on. Okay, unlock the trade. Flame one. Meh. Okay, we, you're better on your compass and your clock, though. Let's see. What am I going to buy? Dub Strider one. Well, it's cheap at least. Okay, it's night. Let's go sleep in our new bed. Our uh, new day. New day. You want to buy some carrots? No. Fresh out of wanting to buy carrots. Okay. Yeah, that made you happy. Did you unlock? Yep, you unlocked your name tag. 20 emeralds. Ha! I should be selling them to you. Okay, guys, that's about all we can do here. Um, we need more villagers. So I'm going to show you how to increase your village size, okay? All right. We'll catch you soon as we learn how to grow the village. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and good morning. Welcome to this video. So, you saw we did some trading with the villagers. Um, we're a little bit limited in what we can do because we don't have very many villagers. So, the purpose of this is to show you how to change that. How to grow your village, okay? There's several ways to do it. One way is to cure zombies but we don't have our zombie farm running yet plus we don't have uh, a brewing stand you need potions another way to grow your village is to get, bring villagers from another place there's a village over mm, that way but I don't really want to do that it takes a lot of time and effort uh, it really does, okay? And, uh, yeah, we're just going to avoid that if possible. So, I'm going to show you how to l make the villagers help themselves, okay? Yep, we're going we're gonna to grow the village. Usually, this is pretty crazy. Usually, this is pretty fast surprisingly so all right so we'll pick a place over here where we have some room and we'll we'll level this off a little bit okay we need a 10 by 10 area so let's see what is that gonna be okay and I like to leave three between the nearest building okay all right so we can either raise that up or lower this down how about it's really not as bad as it seems i'll bring you back when i have this flattened up all right guys and girls so i have an area cleared off here now okay 
this is 12 by 12. I, t I said 10 by 10. The actual uh, doors are going to be 10 by 10. The house, however, it's got to be 12 by 12 to put 10 by 10 doors. So growing your village, it's all about doors. It's counting. It's a count of the doors, okay? And the villagers... Um, the villagers breed all based on how many doors there are okay that's just how it works now you gotta remember as you're doing this you gotta keep lighting it up and the villagers are very curious typically I've had some of them over here watching me as I dug this out Uh, my houses are not very, what you might call, stylish. Um, and feel free in your own world to, uh, to make it how you want it. Um, I'm just kind of showing you the mechanics behind how this works. You're going to be amazed, I think. Hopefully. Um... You have to build this. Oops. You have to build this in your own village. If they don't recognize this as being as being part of the village, then they're going to not um, they're going to not live here, okay? Whoops. Ooh, what is that right? Did I count wrong? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, well, whatever. Oh, yeah, no, I didn't count wrong. I just... Okay, it's night again. Ha! Okay, buddy. Can't sleep here yet. We, you got no roof. What this is going to do is this is going to cause the villagers basically to start families. They're going to be like, oh wow, we have enough room to start a family. on the house. What? We got babies all over the place <laughs> just by adding the doors. Oh my. <laughs> and they must have changed something because it used to be you had to put a roof on it before it worked. This is pretty funny. The uh, the babies they sure they sure do like to uh, open and close the doors. Yeah, now now as we get whoops, as we get more villagers, we'll also get the the iron golems. Up, oh, that's wrong. 
Okay, buddy, that door doesn't belong there. Now, I, I'm going to have to... See, we got more hearts. We're going to have more babies. Don't look! This is their private time! Okay, don't look. Look, it's a baby! And they fed it. Did you see them feed it? Huh? Yep. That's how you get more villagers. When you don't have enough villagers, that's how you get them. Okay? And again, make sure you light it up. Because you don't want zombies in here. Because you will get zombies in here. Yeah, my house is kind of weird. I don't know what I did. I, I counted wrong somewhere, but that's okay. They won't. They don't mind. See, it used to be that you had to get these blocks up here like I'm putting now. And until you had that done, they did not consider this to be... Oh, look! We got an iron golem! Woohoo! Yep, we've got an iron golem. See, that shows that our village has grown enough to support security. Oh my, they are rattling the doors. <laughs> yep, the little villagers, they love to go rattling the doors. Now, when you're doing the roof, also make sure that you put plenty of lights on top of the roof. Because you will get zombies and skeletons and things. And creepers and whatnot up on your roof. Now, this is why I wanted to leave three blocks in between each building was so that the iron golems would have room to walk around and I have more stone cooking at my place so I'm gonna have to go over there and get some more stone to finish this roof yep haha <laughs> it's pretty funny huh got to be careful you don't want to hit them if you hit one of them with an axe the stone golems will hurt you yeah the iron golems I'm sorry not stone golems iron golems yeah you really have to be careful around them those, those golems will hurt you even though your harming of a villager was not intentional and another thing you have to be careful about is getting on top of your buildings because they will come right along with you if they can want to go get some more um, some more stone to finish that roof okay be right back all right folks I'm back with some stone we're gonna start in here you can tell these guys they they didn't waste any time in getting this uh, village going so this is this is my favorite way to increase the size of the village um, I have done it by curing zombies 
I had a village one time where all the villagers jumped off a cliff into a ravine and I had to start them up again with uh, with zombies that was there were no that was a small uh, world an Xbox 360 world there were no more villages there were no more villagers yeah you better like the noise of slamming doors have villagers we have as soon as these guys as soon as this new generation grows up we'll be able to do a lot more trading oh yeah I don't know how many villagers we have now but it's a bunch do you know do you know how many oh you don't like the slamming of the doors eh gets on your nerves surely not Surely not. Is that your daddy? Here comes security. Don't hit a villager. Those guys will wreck you. Yeah, I always get a chuckle out of this. It's one of my favorite parts of the game. Yeah, what do you think there, buddy, huh? You're going to grow up to be a cleric like your daddy, huh? Or your mama. Yes. Yeah, see him, see him feeding the babies? Yes, hello, little one. Oh, you've got your daddy's nose. Oh, your mama's nose. I'm sorry. Now, one thing you'll notice, the village... When you add a house, a big, especially a big house like that, it changes the center of your village. Now, whereas the villagers mostly congregated over, you know, over in this area before, now they're shifting. So, yes, it changes, it changes your village. All right, folks. Well, we'll see you next time. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I, I would just wanted to show you how to grow your village. And we certainly did it. As soon as you get those doors down, yeah, again, usually it used to be that you had to get the roof on. But this time we didn't even have a roof. And boom, the population explosion. Okay, so that's how you grow your village. Now these guys grow up. We got more people to trade with. Okay? All right. I hope you found this video useful. You guys take care of yourselves. Have fun. Stay safe. And have a great day. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.